Play-Doh is a very popular activity at our house. I set up some Play-Doh and seashells for my youngest child to play with, but I couldn't help getting involved. We came up with this adorable peacock. Paint the shell with a coat of white paint. Allow to dry completely before you paint on the feathers. While the paint is drying on the shell, roll the blue Play-Doh into a smooth ball. Roll out the white Play-Doh evenly. Push a pen lid into the Play-Doh to make small flat white circles. To make the black pupils, roll and flatten the black Play-Doh. I use the end of a piping bag nozzle to make the small circles. Flatly push the black circles onto the white circles. To finish off the eye, take a small amount of Play-Doh and roll it into a ball. Gently press it onto the black circle. Roll the orange Play-Doh into a smooth ball. Flatten one side and mould the other side into a beak. Push the beak and eyes onto the blue ball of Play-Doh to make the peacock's head. Roll another blue ball of Play-Doh to make the peacock's body. Flatten the ball slightly so it forms a cylinder. Flatten the back of the body, I use the seashell to do this. With your index finger, make a small divot in the peacock's body for the head to sit on. To make the crest on top of the head, roll three small balls of Play-Doh. Make each one by rolling them into a cylindrical shape and squeezing the bottom of the cylinder to make a teardrop shape. Lightly flatten them with your finger. I used a skewer to make a small indent on top of the head. Carefully push the feathers into the indent to make the peacock's crest. To finish off the peacock's train, paint the shell with blue and green paint and allow to dry before painting on the eyes of the feathers. Dip the cotton bud into the blue paint and make blue dots on the shell. Allow to dry before applying the yellow paint. Dip the other cotton bud into the yellow paint. Dab the cotton bud just off centre of the blue dot. Allow the paint to completely dry before attaching the shell to the Play-Doh peacock. To fit the shell into the Play-Doh, press the shell into the back of the peacock and mould the Play-Doh around the shell so the shell stands upright. We had so much fun making the peacock, it inspired us to make more creatures out of seashells and Play-Doh. If you would like to see more Play-Doh crafts, please like and leave a comment telling me what you want me to make. Thanks for watching.